What's up everybody? Got a 10B root here for you guys. Yes, your phone has to be on uh, VS985 10B. Just to prove it to you guys. Right there it is. Now just to let you guys know, you'll see two images. Uh, you'll see the LG G3 on the right and you guys will be seeing the remote version of it on the left. So you guys can get a better, perfect, professional look of this phone here. Alright, nothing real too special with root, but what we got to do is just open up our browsers. Doesn't matter what browser you use, as long as it can download a file. And we're going to type in stump root XDA. I had to see if this tool was still available. And it should be the first one, root stump root. And you guys will probably see that it's been discontinued. That's just because of newer versions than 10B. They, they already patched it so it wouldn't work with... Uh, it wouldn't work for root anymore. There were other root methods. But I stick with the 10B and then upgrading the device manually myself. So what we do is we'll go down here. You go to Downloads. I'm going to download this again because I got lost for a bit. We'll bring up this message saying that this type of file might harm your computer, blah, blah, blah. Just say you download it. Yours doesn't have to look like mine. Don't worry about the extra one at the end. I already downloaded the file. So once you get the file downloaded, just go ahead and just click on your downloaded file. Phone's gonna ask you that this uh, you don't have unknown sources check. So go ahead and check it. I don't do verify apps. So once you have it checked, go ahead back out. And we'll be there no more. I thought it'll take me right back to that download, but it didn't. Oops. I did not know my uh, mouse wheel will activate that. Where the hell is that? There it is. We'll go to our file managers, all files, internal storage, download, and then we'll go ahead and open up the stump root. And just tell it next until you hit the word says install. When that's done, go ahead and open it. And then you click on this, grind. Okay. Alright, phone's ready. Well, you see, it saw it said please reboot the root. So that's what we're gonna do. Mm. 
Oh yeah, I forgot it's going to reboot again. Alright, it didn't want to reconnect, so I went ahead and manually do it. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install uh, Super User and TWRP. Alright, when you guys get those uh, installed, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and update the super user binary. Just so you're okay for now. Why is that asking me for that? Not even on phone with Verizon, it's asking me for root. Grant. Yes, yeah, super users should work. Oh, I forgot about BusyBox. That one's also recommended. A free version of BusyBox will work too. But me, I have a premium. Is that my uh, Pro? It doesn't say Pro on it. Like I said, the free version will work too, but since I bought Pro, I'm, a, I'm using Pro. Go ahead and give it permission. We're going to install it. Alright, there we go. BusyBox is installed. Then we're going to go back to the TWRP. This is a work without me having to restart the device. And then we'll look for our phones. I'm only providing this video for the LG G3 Verizon only. Any other Ver uh, any other LG G3s, you're pretty much on your own doing research because I do not own that particular phone other than Verizon. Oh, recovery version to install. My bad. I don't know why I pressed in recovery installed. And we're going to go to the latest one. And then we're going to go ahead and install recovery. I guess uh, busy, not busy box. Oops. I uh, guess super user has to be re restarted. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then just do what I did. Just restart your phone. You should be able to get it working. I'll still show proof that on my end it did work. All right, we're back. Let's try this again. This is downloading. I guess that's what it was supposed to do. There we go. 
Didn't pop that up before. I guess that's what you had to do. Is just restart it. We'll say yes. Alright, we're going to reboot into our recovery. And you guys should be seeing something like this. And it's going to ask you for all this, keep read only or whatever. Just slide over. And then there you go, there's your TWRP. I'm going to go ahead and take that phone call and uh, enjoy. I'll do another video on how to upgrade uh, with TWRP to 12B. So you guys can have that fancy advanced calling features and the whole nine yards. And then I'll probably do one more which will show you guys how to install a custom ROM. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.